Willy, 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 willy. I want to show you my two custom bikes. I do have another one, but it is a complete, so I figure these are worth showing you. The other one I can just be like, hey, by the way, I have a Mongoose Legion L100 complete. There, I said that, got that out of the way. I'm gonna start off with this one, because this one's kind of my lesser of the two. So, this is a Mongoose Legion L100 frame, a 2018 frame, and a 2018 seat which is cool and I really like that seat. We're gonna start from the front and then work our way to the back. Eastern Venus female front wheel. Pretty awesome, super lightweight. 7075 T6 aluminum rim and an aluminum axle, which, you know, a lot of people don't like that, and chromoly bolts. Odyssey 2.4 Dugan tires in black, of course. 18 inch tubes in this bad boy. Eastern Dirty forks, <laughs> they're just dirty, they're not called dirty, they're atom forks, whatever. Got a slight taper to them. Colony upside down stem. I just flipped this to get a little bit extra height out of it um, instead of buying a new top load. Uh, but it's a really nice stem. Also 7075 T6 aluminum. s and Perfect 10 bars, uncut. With an Odyssey Springfield medium lever, brand new on there. BSD Dan Paley grips and Odyssey par bar ends. The cranks are 170 millimeter right hand drive Odyssey Thunderbolts. Great cranks, super awesome, single bolt design, super simple. I can't recommend these enough. Lifetime warranty of course. Uh, demolition 23 tooth, 7075 T6 aluminum sprocket, Odyssey alloy grandstands. I actually replaced the pins with a little bit shorter pins uh, from like Ace Hardware, just so it, it, it's grippy but it's not so grippy. This is the Eclat or Eclat torch, 15 millimeter offset seat post. Back here, stock brakes, 100%, even the brake pads. I saw no reason to change them because they're good. The chain here is an Odyssey hollow keychain chain. Say that a million times in a row. All it takes is just, see right here? This is the master pin system or master link, whatever you want to call it. It is just a single three millimeter Allen to take apart your chain. So once you cut your chain to the right length, you don't ever need to really use a chain breaker again unless you actually break your chain. So that's really cool. Dugan 2.3s in the back. The rear wheel is a Mission Convoy female with a 14 millimeter conversion. And all the conversion is just like this little chromoly uh, spacer kind of thing. So it's actually a 3 8 bolt, but uh, with, a, with a spacer and it, and it works great. Nine tooth cassette. 18 inch tube in the back there. That is my dirt jumper. Now, what is this? You've seen this before. You've seen this in probably the majority of the videos that you've seen me riding in. Uh, unimpressively, I might add. But, let's start from the front to the back on this one. Eastern Venus front wheel, and it is a female, of course. Same wheel as that red one back there, uh, just in silver. Yeah, exactly the same. A Mirage 2.35 tire. These are foldable. Highly recommend this tire. They have like micro knurling, even kind of grippy on like this slick sort of concrete surface. 18 inch tube, don't know what it is. Odyssey MPEG up front there. And cool peg, cheap. You get a pair of them for, what is it? Like 15, 16 bucks. Can't go wrong. 4140, I think, chromoly. It's like the, the little bit stiffer series of chromoly. Same thing with the, the G Sport Uniguard, a little bit less malleable, uh, gives you better sliding on hard surfaces. Like this is this is concrete digging this thing up and there's no serious deformation at all. No like big chunks taken out of it. Highly recommend these. Odyssey R25 fork, lifetime warranty. I can't say enough good things about Odyssey. These are the Odyssey highway bars. Let's get this right side up so you don't feel like you're about to vomit. 9.5 rise, I think 29 inch wide. Those are 30 inch wide and 10 inch rise, if I didn't mention that. Kink Samurai grips, really soft and comfortable, kind of slim, and I'd like them to be a little bit longer, maybe to about here, but um, that's, I guess, what the ODI long necks are for. The bar ends, I've taken some abuse here, and I, I, I've i filed them down a little bit because, you know, once they knock on the concrete a couple times, the burrs on the sides get pretty sharp, and I've cut myself before crashing, I, I cut my chest. And I uh, didn't want that to happen. I actually cut my pelvis too. This is like, like a single bolt and then it like expands on the inside. So it's aluminum. Actually it's 
100 percent aluminum except for the the screw lightweight long lasting durability whatever anyway this is the same lever i modified this one i kept on hitting my hand in certain spots so i kind of filed it down and uh, made it a little bit uh, smoother on the inside gyro system or the cables actually only the cables are a jet variety and I, I got it kind of like with like a really cheap complete gyro kit and then i ended up getting the shadow conspiracy gyro again same same cables these are uh the jet cables and here's a little modification i made i just drilled a hole through like a, a screw i didn't want to buy a barrel adjuster so i just kind of made my own i cut it too short and made it to where i don't have a whole lot of adjustment uh, but it works odyssey cable hanger and cable and the odyssey springfield brake system here single spring right here don't need anything else it self centers it's awesome and it comes with odyssey ghost pads actually it comes with uh the brakes the pads the cable the cable hanger a linear cable not not this same thing but a linear cable and the lever for like 30 bucks or 27 bucks something like that you can't go wrong i kind of skipped this on accident this is a primo annihilator top load stem i think it's a 53 millimeter reach or 52 millimeter i'm not sure the height on it but it does add a significant amount uh on there it's pretty nice i guess i should mention the frame the frame is um, next in line but this is a street sweeper 21 inch frame in uh, clear coat raw and it is beautiful i mean look at these welds awesome like they're they're super awesome uh steep head tube angle i think it's a 75.5 or something like that it's it's steeper than normal it's a steeper forks and a steeper head tube super responsive the seat post is the same as the other bike it's a 15 millimeter offset so it kind of gives me a little bit more cockpit space it's a federal seat i don't know what this is called but it's sort of like a canvas material and i love that seat the thunderbolt 170 millimeter left hand drive cranks so the only reason i did that is because i started grinding and i didn't want to break my sprocket in my chain all the time so i switched it to the other side same thing same setup back here odyssey mpeg and uh, the uniguard the 14 millimeter uniguard again look at those beautiful welds 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 so the back here kind of some exciting stuff i got an odyssey antigram complete wheel and it sounds wonderful great engagement i haven't had this one slip once yet tire is an eclat or a claw mirage 2.25 it's a little bit narrower and it has this cool little side it's i think they call it the slide wall it's minimal resistance so um even on concrete these tires have slid better than all the other tires i've used these are odyssey grandstand pc plastic i, I painted one side green just so i don't grind this side down anymore on accident sometimes like if you're just in a hurry you don't feel it on your foot and you kind of just do a trick or whatever and then you slide off and then you break your fucking ankle i didn't mean to do that but whatever this is a kink bedlam sprocket a 23 tooth bedlam 7075 t6 aluminum awesome and uh on both these bottom brackets i'm running the odyssey 22 millimeter uh bottom bracket mid bottom bracket on that one as well I'm running Madeira washers. That's not a really exciting thing to mention, but they're aluminum uh, washers, a little bit lighter. Not really a huge deal. 18 inch tube in this bad boy, and that is it. That is my bike check. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I love this bike. I hopefully will never have this bike stolen or have to sell it for any reason. Have a good day. My face probably looks like shit. I just got off work. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.